hey what's up um so this is something that i want to do where it's like um i just get my my mind things i'm thinking about throughout the day i just make a video and kind of voice say it out loud and uh, so hopefully it'll be interesting to listen to and hopefully it'll help me say things these things out loud and, um, understand what's happening a little bit more um basically whatever creative spurts i get i try to jot them down or or just try to remember them usually i just forget i want to try to put those out here as well uh, like rap lyrics that i come up with or things it might not be that good but uh, you know, just cool stuff like that but that I think is cool. Uh, and I guess I want to try this video. Like, I want to do it every day. I think that'd be really good to get into that flow. But uh, I don't know if it's something that it's that's practical. It's something that's uh, that that. And it's like I don't want it to be another another thing to to procast, pro procrastinate on or to worry about, right? So maybe every other day will be better. And make it, I don't know, anywhere from 5 minutes to like 30 minutes, depending on the topic that I'm talking about. And maybe later on, make make it like a semi-podcast where I bring someone on, or maybe just bring someone on just to discuss this one topic or tell a story that they told me that I want them to tell, right? Or maybe like like rap something that I think is pretty cool, or maybe even like make something like a story or some music. I don't know, anything really that kind of branches out from this. So if you have anything interesting, just let me know. Uh, anything that you want to share, any funny pictures or... Or any, anything that you just want me to look at or just acknowledge it doesn't have to be a part of this just let me know because i like assuming a lot of like this knowledge and information and new things new new like seeing something new is it, it's, it's cool but seeing something new that i'm interested in or something that just catches my eye it's, it's i don't know i like it a lot so yeah things like that that's kind of where i want this to branch out and i also want to like focus on my speaking so my speaking isn't the best uh I have problems with my R sounds. I stutter, I slur, I mumble, I talk too fast. So if I just want to create like a good, nice, rhythmic speeching pattern that is somewhat tolerable to the average person, right? <clears throat> I really don't like my voice or anything like that, but you know, it's something you can work on. Uh, it's, I know you're born with the voice you have, and then you just gotta just tough it out, but it's something I can really work on. and. And I've I've done like like talking warm up exercises and they, those really help me. So when I do those talking warm up exercises. I'll do a video where I do one of those talking warm up exercises and and you, you you'll see a difference. It's maybe you should try it too. It's 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 really a it's like stretching for like a race or something. You know, you just limber up. Uh, your mouth's a muscle, right? Your tongue's a muscle, so pretty important. Okay. But yeah, this picture, man, it reminds you of takes me back. Takes me back. I see me read off of like some rap lyrics I made. I was thinking about this literally today, and this is what made me want to make this video. I've been having, wanting to make this video for about I do this kind of thing for about a couple months now, even way back, like maybe a year ago. I made the first episode, but it was I felt a little bit too serious, and I felt a little bit like it's not the right place. But now I'm just like I'm the way I'm seeing it now is just much more casual and much more. Uh, something just, just to do for myself right instead of just putting making content uh stick us some rap lyrics i have so the the words a lot of word words are misspelled here and maybe not the syllables might not be correct or things might not just make sense but but this is just like some a rough draft i made in like 10 minutes right so and the stuff too, I, I should add i'm gonna add on more maybe not maybe this might be where it ends but yeah all right okay let me, let me just say it in my head first, then I'll say it out loud. So give me a second. Okay, okay. Uh, well, when I think of this beat, it's something like a, like an old old record thing. Where it's like it's like chick chick chick, back it back oh something something like that, right? All right, okay. So everybody rushing for the new iPod. I'm just content bumping my Zoom, talking about Sherlock. I'm talking about well, fuck. 
The flow is something I work on too. Oh fuck. Right, huh? Everybody rushing for the new iPod, but I'm just content bumping my Zoom. Talking about sure like I'm talking about blues, clues, missing my mother, counting my twos, missing not how many choices to choose. Now I'm just waiting away in my tomb. No, now I'm just wasting away in my tomb. Contemplating a noose. Uh, I mean, contemplating my blues. Pick me back to the 2002s. And yeah, something like that. I I, uh, I think if I make it a little bit longer, like maybe like change up the, those syllables, make it like flow better. That sounds pretty sick. Cause it's like basically the idea of this is like going back to when there was not as many choices. You know, things are pretty simple, more clear. Like you're younger. You don't have to worry about so much shit, you know? And and not only that, but uh just that that, that kinda aesthetic where like pre internet, pre um like pre all these like next gen consoles, right? Pre uh just stuff like that. Um like back when everybody looked like to be they they, they were like a stand in in an airbud movie, you know, wearing this 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 those like coats, those winter coats. Man, let me I don't know what I'm looking at, so let me just do this real quick. I was watching Ice Beside Uh Much dog. I'm looking for a trailer. I think this will prove my point. There's something that I want to show you. Oh man, I call you Garbino. Jesus. Uh, Alright, here, oh, that's a perfect one right there. Shit. Damn, this is intense. What the heck? Right there, you see how everyone's wearing like these sweaters? Like, take, go back to these days. These good old days, you know? That's not that good. I'm also watching a lot of Pokemon. I want to make some Pokemon videos, but not like just me just playing like the MMO, the new MMO. So. And. I suck, because I have this idea in my head. Or like the Mighty Ducks. Yeah! <laughs> no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. That's part two. Full movie? Jeez. A little bit better quality. Yeah, back when everyone dressed like that. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Take me back there. <laughs> I want to go back. Uh, yeah. But I've also been working in the kitchen. A career path field. That's what I'm going to school for. It's really engaging. It's really um, tense and it's really... I like how it demands my all my attention, and I can just focus on that. I just get lost in it, and not even think about anything else while, for eight hours while I'm there. When I get out of it, it's, my mind's clear, and that's really nice. It's really fun. It's like meditating almost, even though it's so hectic, right? Right? It can be hectic. Controlled chaos, as they call it. Due to those hours, I can't really like stream every day or everything, because I just get home and it's like really really late at that point, and I'm. Tired and I don't feel like I have the energy for it, but we'll see. Because I could always find that energy and always like grasp that, hold on to that. Um, this is something I always need to work on, right? That's about it, really. Playing League of Legends. Um, I don't know, man. Like match history isn't looking too hot right now. I, I had a like a pretty good winning streak earlier. Um, I've actually been losing a whole lot. I won recent ones. Maybe it's not 
No, it is as bad as I think. Because uh, I was playing off roll stuff, that's why I get like slapped in top and. Or, I just, and I'll just go like whatever the fuck because I just want to have fun. I think that's what happened. That's another thing I want to talk about. Uh, how to improve. There's answers to those things to improve. But it's just so hard to nail it down in yourself, right? So. I'm not 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 just uh oh you just practice it and you get better at it and then you don't practice so there's a reason it's more like uh why does this one thing when this happened to me in the game or when I when when I fail to execute a certain thing or or when I just get it flat out all played or, or my team's just feeding right or just things like this in general why does that tilt me or put me in a in a negative headspace so I can't think or focus on the uh, correctly on the next thing without my emotions getting in the way right. It's not even that I'm emotional. It's just that creates a mental block in my head that prevents me from learning. This is the most important thing. It prevents me from correctly uh, analyzing the, the next thing to do or, or correctly making the, 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 the decision I would make other, if that one instance hadn't happened to put me in that state, right? Uh, it's, really, it's really fucking weird to think about that. And it's really hard to just figure it out. Or like all these mental gymnastics that your mind does to protect you from realizing that like it's your fault, right? And it's easier to place blame on other people. We all do that to an extent, some more than others, and really it really shows the yeah, I'm I'm trying to get out of plat. I don't know, man. Two seasons, three seasons, or two thousand games each in plat. There's something fucking wrong with me. Obviously there's something wrong. If I put that much time into this game and at being able to get to a point that's deserving of that much time put into it, there's something wrong at my end. So I'm just trying to figure that out. It's kind of weird, and I'm, I'm afraid that that will affect me in everything else, right? So like this will be like a I don't want to say precursor. That's not the right word. Um, just be like an indicator, right? Of like, hey, hey this might happen in everything else that you're doing in life, cooking. Playing Super Smash Brothers mainly, although I don't play it anymore, I really want to get back into it. Uh, figure out how to properly, how to correctly invest my time and how to correctly break down the information that's presented to me from these games or just things in general. People say that they read like these, a, a tennis book about like how mind right? like like the mind and tricks and tactics and mix-ups and stuff like that and how that plays into tennis and match players and some other pro players professional gamers they will say hey, that that book has helped them I should, ask you, I should start reading some some books like that you try to look it up I just want to need to pop up that's thrown to throw, throw off the Worse. You guys can't see it. Maybe I can't see it. That's in the. This is what it's called. The inner game of tennis. Yeah, I think this is what the yeah the inner game of tennis is what it was. It's not loading the website. What's taking forever? Uh, lights website. Whoa, that's why I did not want to do that. Holy moly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got a couple tabs that I want to share right now. Okay. I think this is the...
Though I had assisted him at an inner tennis clinic a few months earlier, during workshop week, I had my first private lesson, 30 people were watching, with Tim. He suggested authority. Express authority. Become the author of your own shot, he kindly requested. I found a presence within me who was able to project a new and accessible vision into the shots. Immediately, my teaching and playing gained an added dimension, but not just from the authority, it could be anything I pictured. I became the writer, the creator of the next point, my life. On Friday, December 10, 1976, at about 2.30 in the afternoon, Tim Galway changed my life when he so intuitively suggested, Zach, go home, go and teach, then come back for the next workshop. No way, I responded with newfound strength and surety. Then a stronger instinct with me said, I'm here, I'll help, assist, and learn. Tim smiled. I stayed. But what really made me stay? There's a magic, I feel, being on the court, teaching and learning with Tim. His thoughtful, simple, provocative approach inspires the best out of me as a teacher, player, and person. Since that life-altering moment of expressing a newfound authorship, I trusted and continue to trust Tim's instincts. I am still in Los Angeles working with and expanding the inner game process through clinics, group, and private instruction on tennis courts and golf courses, and in music and billiard halls. And I continue to learn and grow and practice with Tim almost daily, on and off the court, expressing our inner and outer games. <laughs> Introduction. Every game is composed of two parts, an outer game and an inner game. The outer game is played against an external opponent to overcome external obstacles and to reach an external goal. Mastering this game is the subject of many books offering instructions on how to swing a racket, club, or bat, and how to position arms, legs, or torso to achieve the best results. But for some reason, most of us find these instructions easier to remember than to execute. It is the thesis of this book that neither mastery nor satisfaction can be found in the playing of any game without giving some attention to the relatively neglected skills of the inner game. This is the game that takes place in the mind of the player, and it is played against such obstacles as lapses in concentration, nervousness, self-doubt, and self-condemnation. In short, it is played to overcome all habits of mind which inhibit excellence in performance. We often wonder why we play so well one day and so poorly the next, or why we clutch during competition or blow easy shots, and why does it take so long to break a bad habit and learn a new one? Victories in the inner game may provide no additions to the trophy case, but they bring valuable rewards which are more permanent and which can contribute significantly to one's success, off the court as well as on. The player of the inner game comes to value the art of relaxed concentration above all other skills. He discovers a true basis for self-confidence, and he learns that the secret to winning any game lies in not trying too hard. He aims at the kind of spontaneous performance which occurs only when the mind is calm and seems at one with the body, which finds its own surprising ways to surpass its own limits again and again. Moreover, while overcoming the common hang-ups of competition, the player of the inner game uncovers a will to win, which unlocks all his energy and which is never discouraged by losing. There is a far more natural and effective process for learning and doing almost anything than most of us realize. It is similar to the process we all used, but soon forgot, as we learn to walk and talk. It uses the intuitive capabilities of the mind and both the right and left hemispheres of the brain. This process doesn't have to be learned. We already know it. All that is needed is to unlearn those habits which interfere with it, and then to just let it happen. To uncover and explore the potential within the human body is the quest of the inner game. In this book, it will be explored through the medium of tennis. Uh, the Inner Game of Tennis Okay, we're, we're done with the sample. Chapter 1. No, 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 that's too much. That, that's a long ass sample for some fucking reason, but I'm sold. I gotta buy this book. Wait, the audio's free? What the fuck? Oh. Trial. Huh.
Hmm. All right. But yeah, that's the kind of stuff that's like, yeah, I guess I gotta get that book then, huh? It seems like that's all the answers I'm looking for. Yeah, problem solved. Right. Next one. Yeah, so when I'm working with my chef in the kitchen, that's how it is. Basically, what that guy said and how he works with him. Like, this calm, straightforward approach. Provocative. Whatever. Kind of makes you feel empowered and brings out the best of me. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that basically explained everything that I was trying to say. Awesome. All right. Well, really the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Cat's here with me right now. Smells great. Hey right, guys, take care. Take care. Be safe. Have fun. Be safe.